I stand before you and pray earnestly for your prayers in my behalf. Let's listen carefully for the sound of sandaled feet. Let's reach out for the carpenter's hand, and then we shall come to know him. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. With all of my heart, I pray that that same label may identify you and identify me. Four simple words, Lord, here am I. Brethren, we are a missionary-minded church with a God-given mandate to proclaim the message of the restoration to all the world. In our time, there are feet to steady, hands to grasp, minds to encourage, hearts to inspire, and souls to save. May we live so that when that final summons is heard, we may have no serious regrets, no unfinished business, but we'll be able to say with the Apostle Paul, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. For decisions do determine destiny. Let us have the courage to defy the consensus, the courage to stand for principle. Courage, not compromise, brings the smile of God's approval. I wiggle my ears. Choose your love. Love your choice. My message to you tonight is straightforward. It is this. Keep the commandments. May we ever choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong. My dear associates in the work of the Lord, I implore each of us to prayerfully study and ponder the Book of Mormon each day. I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. I earnestly pray, my brothers and sisters, that my life might merit this promise from our Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen.